Before they even had this building, they wanted to have a whistle on top of the building go off at five o'clock every day so that it signified the end of the workday. And so that's how the name Steam Whistle came about. It's a story of perseverance and guys that didn't want to give up ever. And they used to work for another brewery called Upper Canada back in the day, and they were all fired from there. And so instead of just kind of going their separate ways and doing a job they didn't want to do, they decided to band together and create their own brewery. Um, and the story of how they got this place was interesting because they just said, well, let's take one last drive out in Toronto. Let's figure out if we can find one place. And they saw this building and they didn't even think about it because they thought it was just an abandoned place that no one owned. And it turned out that one of our founders, Cam Heaps' mom was a real estate agent. She knew this real estate agent. They called each other and we were able to get something hooked up. But it's a pretty phenomenal how fate kind of worked out that way. They came in in 98 and uh, they got the lease, they started renovating and uh, our first beer came off the line in the year 2000. These guys had a vision and uh, as you can see now, it's a vibrant, popular area for a lot of people to come hang out and not just tourists, but locals as well. You know, we were one of the first ones here, so it was kind of something that I think we were leaders in the industry for that in downtown Toronto to build this area up. You know, the aquarium, new hotels, rec room, Cineplex rec room. You know, these things, people often ask us if we're like, oh, are you worried about people coming in or like that? In, in fact, we, the opposite. We, we embrace new people coming in because we want this to be a, continue to become a more vibrant community. We do have locals that come in here that uh, are regulars that we know. Uh, and so that's important and we try and get more of those people to come down because we don't want to just be a tourist destination. We want to be known as something that's for Canadians and it's made by Canadians and, uh, and especially Torontonians as well. I remember uh, it was a few years ago, Canada 150 uh, brought so much tourism to the area. That's why we work with the entertainment district and the BIA to find out ways that we can all work together to bring you know more people down here. If we work together, I think that it makes the area more vibrant and we're, we're all better for it. I think reason for our success early on was probably A, this great building and location, uh, and B, we were one of the first craft beers really to challenge the domestic products and the, uh, the macro breweries that are out there. It's cherished as something I think that's owned by Torontonians especially, uh, and also for Canadians in general. Uh, we are coast to coast across the country. I mean, this is a great, beautiful building that we all love, but without the great people, it wouldn't be what it is at all, and it wouldn't be as cherished. Uh, to me, the entertainment district is the most vibrant one in Toronto. It's, uh, it's where everything's happening. It's where people come to see the bright lights of Toronto, you know. And, it, and again, it's not just for tourists. I think local Torontonians can enjoy this area and there's a lot of people living in the area. So this is where I kind of uh, socialize and where I work as well. So I spend a lot of time down here, so I enjoy it.